All right. Hey, you guys. This is Moggy Swag. And I'm coming to you with my discussion slash review of Awari No Serif episodes five, five, six, and seven. I believe there's an eight in there too. I could be wrong. It'll probably be in the title somewhere down below my face. So yeah, uh, this, these episodes, this show as a whole, which is the second season of Awari No Serif and just the feels. There's so many different things going on right now. Like, of course, they are trying to attack the nobles and take all of the nobles out. So they have less to worry about later on. But it actually turned out that this was just a decoy mission and the real troops will be coming in later. But there was just so many different things going on, like in them trying to attack them. Several squads were decimated and others were wounded or captured. And Guren and his squad and Shinoa and her squad and what's his face and his squad <laughs> are really the only three main ones left. Because even at one point there was another squad that had lost a few of its members and they stayed back to wait for another group. And they got caught off guard by some vampires. And Mika, of course, was in that group. And they all decided to kill themselves. But when the leader tried to kill herself, Mika took the pill out of her mouth. And uh, <laughs> she, they kind of tried to stage something. I don't know if it was staged or what. I really could not tell at that point. But they, she pretty much said that she was going to let him, like, lead him to um, you, but she wasn't going to betray you or whatever. I don't know. There was a lot of stuff going on. And uh, Mika ended up killing her because she was like, I already lost all my comrades, and I, I am such a betrayer. She sang like a fucking canary. And... Uh, <laughs> She tried to kill Mika, and Mika just took her out, and she died happy since she couldn't kill herself. So, I mean, that, that was pretty fucking sucky, but Mika decided that he was going to go investigate City Hall. So then they cut, of course, they cut back to Guren. Excuse me. Guren and the other two squads. Yeah, I guess just to check up on them to see what they're doing. And um, they are, they were about to attack, attack, I'm guessing it was City Hall where all of those hostages were on crosses out front, which I don't know how I feel about that, but they were all like strung up outside of the hall and Crowley and some other nobles were in there and they were about to attack. They had sent in one attack and uh, Crowley just dodged it like it was nothing. So they decided that they were going to go in head on and try to figure out a way to free all the hostages and create a diversion until the other squad came. And um, it's not looking real good right now for Garen. Or his partner, I can never remember his name, is the one with the sniper rifle. And, uh, like, Crowley fucked them up. And it's scary how strong Crowley is. Because, <laughs> like, it's ridiculous how amazing this dude is. And he is probably the strongest person. Excuse me. He is probably the strongest person that they have encountered so far. And I don't know, it's just this, this, he is awesome. And he kind of makes, like, he is a heart, he is a heart throbby. But this show, just this, this show, I'm so looking forward to seeing what happens. Because at the end of this episode, they show, like, you, he, like, shot up through the floor in the nick of time because Guren was about to die because Crowley had, like, stabbed him in his, in his shoulder. And once his face was down for the count, too, because he Crowley fucked him up, too. So, yeah, things aren't looking real good right now. But I'm so looking forward to seeing what happens. I really want to know what happens. I want to see what happens between Mika, Mika 
and you. I almost called him Mikasa. I want to see what happens between Mika and you. I want to see what will happen when they actually do meet each other again because, of course, you loves all of his comrades and he knows, like, he would do anything for them. He would even probably die for them. But Mika, on the other hand, thinks that all humans besides you are evil and stupid and betrayers and they just use people and he thinks that they're all using you, which is a strong possibility. I believe that the people in his squad aren't, but I know that Giren is. So, I mean, Mika might have a legitimate reason to want to kill Giren and even like just from watching the credits, you can tell that there is going to be another fight between Giren and Mika. So I don't know. I'm really looking forward to that. But other than that, I do feel like everybody in his squad, like Shinoa and uh, Yu Yoichi and Kimizuki and everybody, actually genuinely do care for you and care about his well-being. And I don't think that they're using him, but I don't know. I have a really strong feeling that Mika is going to do something that will make you turn on him and you and Mika are going to have like this epic battle one day. I'm really seeing it coming. So yeah, so as always, I would love to hear how you guys feel about the show. How do you feel about these episodes? How do you feel about the way things turn out? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that there will be an epic battle between Mika and you at one point? So yeah. So as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe helps me a whole lot. And this is Sibaki Swag saying adios.